Morning everyone. It's about 8.30 on Sunday morning. Um, we just uh, went over and had a shower at the shower facility in the campground. Um, Paula's still on her way back so I figured I'd take a minute and get the van ready to go. Then we're heading over to the garage a couple minutes down the road for 9 o'clock to uh, get our tire finally put on the rim and then we're back on the road again. Hopefully today's a better day than yesterday. Oh, and there she is. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> back on the road after getting our uh, spare tire put back together and we even got the guy at the garage to uh, grease our upper and lower ball joints um, just to make sure that they were still good. Now we're headed towards uh, Saguenay, Saguenay, I don't know. Um, apparently we'll be getting there around 6.30 according to our GPS. It's uh, about seven hours and 42 minutes from where we are right now. We've been driving for a little bit. So we think we're going to uh, maybe stop in at the next Canadian Tire uh, in Saguenay to uh, see if they have the same tires that we just bought yesterday. Uh, they were on sale so uh, if so, we're going to get three more and replace our two fronts um, and our spare to make sure that our spare is exactly the same as uh, the two that we now have in the rear that are brand new. That way we've got five brand new tires and our chances of blowing one are a lot less because uh, tomorrow, whenever we finally uh, travel from Saguenay to Labrador City, um, there's a patch in that road that's apparently notoriously rough. It's famous for having a really uh, rough surface. I think we're probably good now, but since our, our tires on the front are not brand new, uh, maybe we should replace them as well. Uh, with, once the tires are on sale, it's a good time to buy them, right? Absolutely. Lunch time. Derek made us an awesome lunch. We have a bunch of cucumbers and a couple of pickles and a really awesome chicken salad sandwich. Thank you. No problem. It's a big hill, eh? Yeah. Down four again. This is as fast as we can go up this one. So we're slowly making our way around Lac Saint Jean, which it looks pretty big on the map, but it looks way bigger in person. We weren't trying to get to our destination. It might be nice to pull off at one of these rest stops, but I think right now I'd rather be resting in the Saguenay with another glass of wine. Yeah. Yeah. We're just about to Saguenay, and it looks like we're looking in a mirror at our own back. We're following another camper van that uh, it's a little bit different than ours, but looks like it's probably around the same age. Avandre, it's for sale too. So we made it to Saguenay, and uh, this this is the biggest city we've seen in like three or four days. Yeah, I guess so, eh? Yeah. So we are headed towards the Walmart which is apparently three minutes ahead of us. We're gonna check it out. We may end up doing some urban camping tonight and stay in their parking lot. There's actually some uh, pretty decent mountains in the background as well. Yeah, really. Hopefully the weather's nice tomorrow. We may get a good view of those. In 600 meters, turn right. Lots of stores here, a nice big metro. I don't know how much groceries we need, but it'd be nice to maybe take a look in the morning. Oh, it's right here. Excellent. Looks like we're not the only ones who uh, thought that it might be a good idea to stay at Walmart tonight. It's always comforting to see a bunch of other RVs whenever you drive in. Yes. Uh, we like to go in and ask at Walmart to make sure that they are okay with us staying there. Um, but this one is apparently already closed, even though it's only like 6, not even 6.30 at night. So the fact that there's other RVs makes us feel safe in numbers. And chances are one of them has asked, so we probably are good to go. How does this look for the night? This looks pretty good. I'll go check to see if we're level. All right. All right. So we've got two levels up here. This one shows our side to side and it's perfect. And this one shows our front to back, and it is perfect as well. We are good to We're go. Home for the night. Home for the night. <laughs> at 
Walmart. At Walmart. So for tonight's dinner, Paula has just made a salad using a bunch of ingredients uh, that you would normally see in a salad, as well as a little bit of leftover spaghetti from a couple nights <laughs> ago. And now uh, it's going to be Mexican inspired because the leftover taco filling from last night and the three shells that we have left are going to be crumbled up in there as well. So uh, I think it's going to be delicious. Fingers crossed. <laughs> We're going to eat it anyways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 